All right, I know I've been saying this forever, vacuums, vacuums, vacuums. I don't know jack about vacuums, and so don't misconstrue this video as some, ex I'm not pro proclaiming to be an expert. I'm just showing you what we got. Hopefully in the comments you can maybe, if you are a vacuum expert, uh, what I'm not interested in is I'm not interested in vacuum aid. I'm not interested in Gladiator or Husky. I'm not interested in what you know, which is what Home Depot has or what some high level marketing bull crap. I'm interested in professional grade that we can adapt to our garages in our house. And that's what I'm gonna chase. But to be perfectly candid, I really, didn't have any reason to personally because I didn't have a place to put a darn vacuum. Well, now I do. So because I'm a, as people would say in the comments, a narcissist, um, only about me, um, um, very, um, uh, what does Michelle call it? Uh, anyway, I, uh, I'm gonna start off for a vacuum because I need one for myself. And then by proxy, the entire Obsessed Garage experience has been me figuring out something for myself and then by proxy other people want it too. And so I'm gonna share with you the experience of vacuums. Um, we have uh, a friend of mine who's also doing some vacuum research. We'll see if he can figure out obsessed level. But for now, we've sold dozens and dozens of these things. Or I, I could pretend like other YouTubers. We've sold thousands of these and I get 10,000 emails. No, we sold like 20 of them maybe. Uh, but these are really expensive, really nice quality uh, vacuum hose reels. So I'm gonna tell you what I know, what I don't know, and we're gonna get ourselves to becoming a you know, vacuum expert. The other reason why I haven't chased is I freaking hate cleaning interiors. So since I hate it so much, I should probably invest some time in making the experience better so that way I don't hate it so much. So. Um, first concept here, first idea, is that um, these are huge. And I've got 3,600 square feet, of which 30% of that is my little area where I shoot videos, and then the other 20% of it is office. And so we really have like 2,000 square feet of, uh, of shipping and storage capability. And so these are massive. And so for the time being, until I get my other major storage facility up and running, we're drop shipping these. Uh, but Cox has agreed to stock them in the colors that I think are the best, which is, we're calling this gray or are we calling this silver? Silver gray. Gray, it's, it's gray. Is it gray G-R-E-Y or G-R-A-Y? Could be either. Both are acceptable. Then we have the standard, you know, standard Cox blue, and then uh, well, I think the best color is black. But of course, black, like anything black, looks dirty all the time, so you have to clean it more. So obviously the, uh, the, the gray, GR, I'm gonna call it G-R-E-Y, because I'm the boss. The gray one will look the cleanest, the longest. And plus it, you know, really does match, I think, uh, matches the hose really well. So I do think, these, the hose that it comes with is pretty nice. It's pretty decent, but I don't, I don't know what a good hose looks like. I have a hose over on my Flex Vacuum. The Flex Vacuum is not the one, um, but that has a one and a half inch hose. This is, a, to believe it, two inch hose. Uh, and the problem with a two inch hose is it's bulkier, heavier, requires some more space, takes up more room on the reel. Um, what are these? Are these 50 footers? How long are these things? So they come, so the Cox reels, Cox sources this, they set this up, it comes like this. You can buy it hoseless. Do we know how much it is? 280? It's 280 it, it's, without the hose. And it's 432 with the hose. Okay, so it's 280 with the ho without the hose and 432. <laughs> Gotta get that two, two bucks a profit. 432 with the hose. As of today. So what is that? 140 bucks for the hose. Yeah. And then it's 142 bucks for the hose. Oh Lord, yeah. So, so keep in mind the size of this. You know, you're all in 600 bucks to get, depending on where you live. Uh, these ship out of Arizona, um, so all in, you're, you know, you're five, six hundred bucks to get the to get this reel. But this is like next level quality stuff. This this is like buy once and have for the rest of your life. You'll probably replace a hose every 10 years, depending on how, how much uh, you beat it up. But these are designed for dealerships and and um, car washes and things like that. And we're adapting it for, for our garage. So just like all the other uh, roll-up hose reels from Cox, um, spring-loaded, 
in this particular case, spring-loaded, I don't think it's going to work very well. The hose is so darn fat and big that you'd have it wind up the middle. <laughs> you'd, have to, you'd have to keep unwinding it. But they have a drag, um, like just like the, the roll-up reel we use for our, our pressure washer, but there's a ja drag here on the side which will adjust how much it unwinds on its own, so add some tension. Like Ely hose reels and stuff have that as well. And then we haven't taken this apart, but there's a there's a fancy little handle on here that comes out the side so you can wind it up. Um, and then internally, uh, one of these will unwind it and show you what it looks like inside. But internally, there's a uh, an anti-vibration clamp that holds it together, that holds the hose so you won't accidentally pull the hose off or cause any damage if you're unwinding at the complete 50 feet. So you can see on si inside how it works. There's an open barrel. Let me get the blue one out of the way. So there's an open barrel with an anti-vibration clamp that clamps and holds the holds the, the hose in place. And then you make a nice, uh, nice curved transition rather than trying to do an, a 90 and getting a kink. So you'll never have any kinks. And then there's a pressure fit fitting here. Now. This is the part I haven't figured out yet. You're on your own for now if you want one of these, but um, I don't know how we get a darn hose on here, but it's maybe a, what are those, uh, what are the clamps called, the clips called where you screw it on? Um, you know what I'm talking about? Like the, like a hose clamp. Yeah, just a hose, regular hose clamp. So you'd probably use some sort of hose clamp. I don't freaking know how, how, how it works, but we'll figure that out at some point. But for now, you know, we've, we've had so many inquiries on these, not thousands but we've had dozens of inquiries on these. And so we finally, I said to Kyle, I said, just buy three of them, bring them here. And, um, and I think these are already sold. Are these already sold to people? We've already sold these things? Yeah, we've been selling them. No, we've sold yeah. seven since we haven't technically sold those three. Oh. Ship them out for the next. Got it. Got it. Yeah, so anyway, these, I brought these, these are, and I had to pay, you know, whatever, a couple thousand bucks to get these things here just to make this darn video and take some photos of them. But I think it's something we need in the store. We're also going to continue to chase vacuums, you know, that, that's coming. So I'm going to chase vacuums, I'm going to chase, um, um, you know, whatever you call it, crevice tools and, and, uh, and all the carpet cleaners and all that stuff as well. So we're going to, we're going to get there. My, my guess is it'll take me, you know, the rest of the year to get it done, but I do want to vacuum in my garage and building at my house. I would like to have a, a vacuum here. And then we'll do our typical uh, basic uh, advanced and ultimate setups where you know we have some ridiculous, I don't know what it will be, $5,000 vacuum setup. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what it will cost, but whatever it costs. We'll have a whatever it costs version. We'll have a slightly overpriced as everyone would call it version and we'll have a uh, and we'll have an entry level overpriced because everything I sell is overpriced stop using that word it's like a microcosm for you to suck at life Just stop using that word there's no such thing as overpriced it's price whatever it needs to be so stop that nonsense but anyway Cox vacuum reels in the store the crazy expensive you're gonna cry yourself to sleep if, if those of you that are never buying this just keep your mouth shut those of you that are interested in vacuums, uh, go ahead in the comments and if, you're, if you've chased some of the things. What I, again, I'm not interested in Flexzilla hoses in vacuum-made vacuums. You can keep that. I'm not interested in that. And that's not going in my garage. Just like a Sunjo is not going in my garage. Flexzilla is not going in my garage. And it shouldn't go in yours either. Same thing with new age cabinets. Punt that whole idea, that whole concept, punt it in the trash. We're going to do better than that. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing with vacuums. I'm going to chase that. Don't get suckered into that high-level marketing bullcrap um, where it's all marketing and uh, Chinese product with no engineering. Chinese products can still be good, but you know, there, has to be, there has to be engineering behind it. So that's the story. Available in the OG store. We're drop shipping them. We will be stocking them. Drop shipping, they should, you know, Cox is super slow, but, you know, sorry to my friends at Cox, but they would, they would admit it. They take their time, they do it right, and they build these things in-house in Arizona and the U.S., and then they ship it out um, whenever, uh, whenever you order it. So picture a week and picture 100 bucks plus to ship this monster because it comes in a giant box and uh, is really freaking heavy. So 
we'll get into more mounting options and how to use it and crevice tools and all that stuff in the future. But I felt like um, I could preface our future vacuum chase um, by um, yelling at you and telling you to stop using the word overpriced. Smiles. Smiles for everybody. Thumbs, two thumbs up. Matt Mormon out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Without you people buying stuff, I wouldn't be able to keep freaking doing this stuff. So I appreciate it. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon.